Hi. Hello. It's Tara, Monster I Love Me, and YouTube hasn't seen me in a little bit, so it's nice to be back. So last night was the Kids' Choice Awards, and the whole Monster High cast was there as they were nominated for Favorite Movie. Hi! We're the cast of Monster High, and we're the Kids' Choice Awards! You know, they all looked absolutely stunning. Something that I noticed, though, is that the actress who plays Cleo Denial, Jai, she wore heels that had, like, pyramids at the bottom, and I just thought that was a cool little detail. So as I said, they were nominated for Favorite Movie, and they did not win. And, you know, when they announced the nominations, I knew Monster High wasn't going to win just because of who they were up against. Something that I was not expecting, though, was for Sonic to win. I mean, I've never seen Sonic, and sorry if there's any, like, Sonic lovers watching, but when you're up against, like, Marvel, literally, like, Avatar, Way of Water, that was such, like, a big movie, and Sonic wins, I was very surprised, but, I mean, good for them. <laughs> Anyway, why we're even talking about this is because at the Kids' Choice Awards, they released a teaser for Monster High the Movie 2, which is a sequel to the first Monster High live-action movie. Todd Holland, who's the director of the first and second movie, did tell us to look out for something, so we already knew to expect something during, like, the commercials of the Kids' Choice Awards, but I was not expecting to get as much footage as we did because they finished wrapping filming less than a week ago, so, and the first teaser that we got for the first live-action movie was very very short very little and it was more of like a promo video and that was what I was expecting for this but yeah we ended up getting a lot of footage we got to look at their outfits kind of like what's going on and oh my goodness it's happening again the plot may or may not have leaked already. So in this video, we are going to be breaking down the sequel teaser. I will let you know everything that we know thus far about this movie. When we get to possible like spoiler territory, I will let you know. So if you don't want spoilers, like I will tell you when to click off. So without further ado, let's get started. So thanks to Mia Harris's Instagram, we know that this movie is being shot in Vancouver, Canada again, just like it was in fall of 2021 for the first movie. So on the director's Instagram, he does post a lot about his scheduling, like down to the hour, which is like pretty interesting to look at. And we know they started prep around like November 2022. Remember, this is a musical, so they do choreograph numbers and record songs. So they do have to do prep for that. And like I said, they just finished filming at the end of February 2023. Also, about a month ago, Monster High posted the, like, my first day on set with the actors and little, like, character biographies of what each character is most excited for, which is going to be relevant when we're talking about the plot leaks, but just to touch on it for a second right now. Like, for example, on Deuce's board, it says relationships get rocky. We know Deuce and Cleo were in a relationship before the live-action movie took place, but he doesn't want to get back together with her and had a little fling with Claudine. At the end of the movie, they didn't really become in like an official relationship. In the new teaser for the second movie, we do see like a hugging scene. So maybe they're just friendly. I am thinking like relationships get rocky is between Deuce and Cleo. We know Cleo wants him back. Do they get back together? Who knows? We will see. Gulia's board just says supports her ghoul friends, which just tells me she's not even going to be a main part of the storyline, kind of like how she was in the first movie, just a supporting character, maybe comedic relief. I really wish they would do more with Gulia. She has so much potential. I love her so much. I just wish they would use her more. Same with like Laguna. She barely had any lines in the first movie. Claudine says takes on a new rival and Jackie Laura says plans a sweet 1600 birthday party, which is going to be very important in a second. But first, let's just go over the teaser. First, it opens up with a shot of the school and out of everything, you know, a lot of people don't like... A lot of the things that Monster High changed, but I think they really captured the school beautifully. I love the dark, spooky aspects of it. I think they did the school perfectly. I would not change a thing. I absolutely love the looks of it. Bloodgood looks to be speaking in front of the school. I'm not going to share any audio from the teaser just because like, I don't want to get copyrighted in this video, but also nothing is really shared in the audio of the teaser. Nothing like monumental or important to the story. It's just like, the boos are back. Welcome to a new year. It's basically just all like in the shots that we're going to be talking about. Claudine is also speaking at a podium too. My guess 
says it's gonna take place in the beginning of the movie and it's gonna be probably about like a motivational speech kind of recapping the events that happened in the first movie oh i am half human i am half werewolf this is what i did kind of just stuff like that you can do it too and you know we know they're gonna now allow half humans into monster high now so she's probably gonna do a whole thing for them that's just my guess in the audience we see frankie and cleo on the side i think that's heath that is definitely laguna i always loved her wig i know it's not really true to laguna blue but i i just think that's just such a gorgeous wig anyways uh, i think that is deuce over there this is probably draculaura that's maybe Gulia. We see Heath, Frankie, and Deuce. I saw some people on Twitter saying, oh my gosh, is Deuce gonna be in relationship with Frankie? I mean, they are just standing next to each other. I don't think that really means anything, <laughs> but I mean, it's not impossible. Obviously, they're changing a lot in the live action like adaption, but you, you never know. Also, side note, it looks like the actor who plays Heath Burns did actually dye his hair this time orange for the role because he was clearly wearing like a wig in the first movie. So we love commitment. Actually dyeing your hair orange, we love that. We see Deuce and Heath again. Heath is still wearing his Letterman jacket as he did in the first movie. I really hope they give him more of a wardrobe, possibly like a fiery t-shirt. I don't know, but I, I, I want to see him in more stuff. And, you know, Deuce... I still think he should be wearing sunglasses. I know maybe for like a live action that's not really possible to be wearing sunglasses the entire movie, but I don't know. He, he would just look so cool with sunglasses. Anyways, Jackie Laura opens the door. I'm assuming that's her house. She's wearing D earrings, the same wig as in the first movie, and a gorgeous collar. Like I would totally wear that myself. Like that's super cute. At the door first is Claudine. She's wearing that signature animal print and she's wearing the same wig as she did in the first movie, which I thought they were gonna change up a little bit because Claudine, I know this isn't G1, but you know, in G1, Claudine changes up her hair a lot, hair colors, and I kind of wish they did this in this movie. Maybe like, I don't know, it's for kids, maybe continuity reasons they didn't want to change much, but I don't know, like, give them some more hairstyles. Frankie then joins the party in a blazer, and I say party because I'm pretty sure this is Draculaura's Sweet 1600 birthday party, considering, you know, the balloons in the background being black and red and the black roses. I think this is Draculaura's front door that they're at. More inside Draculaura's house. I think those are bat balloons in the corner. I would totally love that for my birthday party. We see a clip of one of the musical numbers and wow, Frankie has some pretty studded jackets in this movie. <laughs> like, very detailed, very intricate. And if you notice something on the left with Draculaura's outfit, it is almost spot on with Halliday Draculaura. Oh my gosh, I love it. It would have been cool if it was an exact replica and had like the spider webs going down it and had the hair. Oh my gosh, I would love to see this hair in live action version, but at least we got something. I do have to laugh at like the background character's makeup. I mean, just like a purple face, so blue face. I mean, I, I know they don't have that big of a budget, but come on. <laughs> we see Cleo with her eye coffin taking a photo with Abby and Gulia. She does seem like nice in this photo, so we know she was like pretty much like a bitch in like the beginning of the live action movie and then she kind of like reformed. This is for Deuce with like Claudine and everything and she was nice. So is she like reformed now? I can't imagine her not being like her sassy self so we'll see we get a photo of a lot of the cast together hanging out at the coffin bean i do love that they brought the coffin bean back i love the coffin bean and if you notice something with laguna on the left she has like a jacket similar to her skull minute secrets jacket so that's pretty cool i do wish they left out the h2o because that's just very like literal kind of like abby having like a shirt with a snowflake on it i mean i feel like you can be more creative than that but you know uh, maybe they didn't have time i'm trying i'm trying to be nice <laughs> claudine is wearing a green coat and there's like these ask me tags i don't know what that's about or maybe like it's a clipboard maybe they're a part of like a committee or something and cleo is the only one in this photo that is not smiling so maybe she's like pissed off about something also she's wearing a dress with like bugs all over it or beetles i feel like there's a name for them you guys can tell me in the comments i feel like there's a specific name for like cleo's bug or something i can't remember right now 
Here's more of that dance number. This probably looks like a dance number that's going to happen at the end of the movie. And if you look at the character on the right, I think that is going to be possibly like a main character in this movie. We'll get to that in a second. But just looking at her, you know, she has more wardrobe and makeup than the rest of the background characters, which leads me to believe she's not a background character. Then at the end of the teaser, we see someone fiddling with a crystal ball, which we saw at the end of the first movie that teased the sequel. So we know this movie is going to be about Draculaura. The first one is about Claudine. The third one is probably going to be about Frankie, assuming it gets greenlit for the third one. Now we are going to get into the pop possible plot leaks for this movie so if you don't want anything possibly to be spoiled for you now is the time to click out i love you thank you for watching okay for those still left Okay, so Not The Daily New One on Twitter posted this tweet. They are a very credible account. They've been in the community for a long time. Uh, by the way, anytime you see anything about minions, they're talking about the Monster High movie. This joke was brought up the first time, you know, the Monster High movie leaked and like accounts were getting taken down. Like I'm talking like the full link to the entire movie months before it got released. They were calling it like the Minions movie. So... I, yeah, Minions 2. Monster High the movie 2. <laughs> With the Minions 2 teaser, feels like this is the proper time to say a few weeks back I got an email with what seems descriptions for new characters in the second movie in code. Pretty sure the last two are kind of obvious. No idea if this is real, so take it with a grain of salt. Okay, so this is the email, so let's get into it. Alright, so Zamara. So I don't think this is particularly a code name. I mean, it could be a code name, but not really a code for a character that already exists. Powerful businesswoman who owns a wellness brand that is secretly also a witch coven. She needs to send her son, Ellis, to infiltrate Monster High and recruit Draculaura to make peace between witches and vampires. So this is the mother of Ellis, and we will talk about Ellis in a second because that is a whole nother thing. But this definitely sounds like the plot of Draculaura's movie, Making Peace with Witches and Vampires, because this is what Draculaura was struggling with in the first movie, but it was Claudian's movie, so it wasn't really talked about that much. Okay, now let's talk about Ellis. And tell me if this description sounds familiar. Okay. Confident, cool, and charming vampire, he quickly befriends Draculaura due to their shared passion for dark arts and has a complicated relationship with his mother. Does this sound familiar to anyone? You want me to transfer to Monster High? Surely anything for you, darling. You hear me? If you don't clean up all this backwater. Yes, mom! So, yeah, this sounds a lot like Valentine from the movie Why Do Ghouls Fall in Love, which is my favorite Monster High movie, by the way. Valentine, like, I have a shrine to Valentine in my bedroom. Those who follow me on TikTok know this. <laughs> so, when I saw this, I screamed. Uh, there is something else, but we'll talk about that later. Valentine popping up in Draculaura's movie would be crazy. So, in this, though, he, they would just be meeting for the first time and why do ghouls fall in love they had already known each other back when she went to school in transylvania and the whole thing with his mother i mean and why do ghouls fall in love he was having an argument with his mother so that makes sense now this is where it kind of gets crazy though in a now deleted photo from one of the cast members they took a photo of one of like the wig stands and we see a name tag for ellis so but lots of people were thinking Ellis was a code name for in the email for Valentine. But we know that Ellis is an actual character in the movie. So either Ellis is a completely different character and it's not Valentine, or it's supposed to be Valentine, but they changed his name. Two different theories. I really hope it's Valentine, but the Ellis name tag is telling me that it's a different character, as much as I want it to be Valentine. All right, and this monster should sound familiar too. Sophomore with a British accent and a rival alpha to Claudine, she's used to the spotlight, and when she comes back from a year abroad, she is shocked to see Monster High is accepting humans and witchcraft. So this is definitely Torlai. Now she is not British in G1, but in G3, in the animated series, they did make her British. Kind of sucks they're going along with that storyline in the live action movie, because personally, I'm not a fan of British Torlai. Nip instead of foamed, now this? Also, if you remember earlier in the video where I was talking about the boards that the actors were posing with, Claudine's says taking on a new rival, which is 
probably talking about Torlai, which is why I think this is definitely very credible. Now, this one should seem familiar as well. Shy and sweet southern girl, she is learning to embrace her half-human, half-monster heritage as inspired by Claudine's story. So, the code name makes me think that this is Operetta Southern Girl as well. Although Operetta is not known to be shy and she is definitely not a half human, at least in OG Monster High, but Claudine wasn't half human either, so they are definitely changing things. I really love Operetta as a character. So on one hand, I do really hope it's her. I would love to see her in live action version. But two, I really love Operetta's kind of like sassy kind of take no shit attitude so if they're making her you know really shy and half human I don't know do I want to see Operetta like that we don't have a look at her we don't know you know what she's like yet so I'm not gonna judge too hard all right that is everything that we know about the movie thus far like I said take everything with a grain of salt nothing really is confirmed yet other than it's pretty much, you know, confirmed it's Draculaura's movie. If it follows the trend of last year, there's probably going to be a lot of leaks. Hopefully the whole movie doesn't leak this time because I can't imagine what was going through, like the director's head and everyone who worked on the movie. Like having the whole entire movie leak three months before it comes out, like that's just so crazy. Hope it doesn't happen this time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I've been kind of absent on this channel. I've been active on TikTok and Instagram, so if you miss me here, you can go over there. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video.